but I still wanted my third wish. Tashi Stein. Oh, if only I'd know. Well, the genie just yawned at me and said, What is your third and last wish, Master? I thought carefully. One thing I had often longed for was to meet Uncle Tiki Poo, my father's younger brother. He had run away to the city while he was still a boy, but my father had told me stories of his pranks and jokes. Yes, that's it, I said. I would like to meet my uncle Tiki Poo. It was suddenly very quiet in the shed. The genie rose up and clicked his fingers. Nothing happened. You will find him in your bedroom, said the genie, and slid it back into his bowl. I ran to my room, bedroom, and there was my uncle stretched out on my bed. Ah, Tashi, he said, it's about time someone came to find me. My life has been very hard in the city. Before I could say that, I I was sorry to hear it and how pleased the family would be to have him back. Home again. Uncle Tiki Poo went on. This bird is very hard. However, I look around the room. Where will I sleep, Uncle? Who knows? She answered in a bored voice. Get me something to eat, Tashi. A little roast. Duck and ginger will do. And tell your mother when she comes home that these clothes need washing. He pointed to a pile of his clothes beside my toy box. The lid was open and inside my box were jars of hair oil and tins of tobacco instead of my train set and kite and rock collection. Where are my things? I I cried. Oh, I threw them out the window. He told me how else could I make room for my belongings. I ran out and gathered up my toys. Two wheels had fallen off my little red train. What about my belongings? I called through the window. Don't worry about them, replied Uncle Tiki Poo. You won't be living here much longer. This house is too small for all of us now that I've come back. You can have my old job in the city, Tashi, but mind you may you take a rug to sleep on because they don't give you any bedding there. And the stony ground is crawling with giant spiders that bite. See, I've got the one to prove it. And he lifts his holy old singlet to show big red.
red lumps all over his tummy, like cherry tomatoes. Did they give you food in the city? I could hardly bear to ask. No, there's never enough. So you have to hunt for it. That's where the spiders come in handy. If you squish them first, they are not bad in a fit. Oh, and watch out for alligators. They swim in the drain. Well, goodbye and good luck. You'll need it, ha ha! And he loves a weak laugh. Tashi stopped for a moment because he couldn't help shivering at the terrible memories of his uncle, and also because Jack was jumping up and down on his seat in outrage. The woman who said had said what a magical day was staring. I know, said Tashi. I know. I couldn't believe it either. That a member of my family could be so evil. My head was pounding, and I ran straight to see the genie. How could he help that old beetle brain? Well, said Tashi, it was like this. I picked up his ball and tried to wake the genie again. I shook him a bag him to get rid of Uncle Tiki Poo, but he just closed his eye tightly and said, Go away, Tashi. You've had your three wishes and that's that. Suddenly, I put the ball down and smiled. I had just had a cunning idea. I remembered another thing Grandmother always told me about Jeannie. I hurried back to my room and said to Uncle T.K. Pooh, You are quite right. This house is very small and pokey. How would you like to live in a palace instead? Uncle Tiki Poo sat up with a bounce. Just what I've always wanted, he cried. How did you know? Come with me, I told him, and I will show you how to do it. I opened the door of the shed and led him to the genie ball. Uncle let out a howl of joy when he saw that what was curled up inside. But when the genie rose up, rose into the air, his eyes weren't sleepy anymore. They were bright and large.